would like to discuss the adoption of interactive technology in the classroom. The use of student participation devices, or better known as clickers, allow for the instructor to gauge their educational endeavors and it allow for students to focus their studies in their self-identified areas of weakness. With this all being the case, it is important that we discuss how this technology is innovative in its approach to involving the learner in the classroom. Many of the educational publishers have made allowances for this use in their educational resource, al allowing for students to be quizzed during the actual class. The system can record the answers of the students and if the instructor wishes, he or she can examine the responses by the student, allowing for a more reliable method of measuring student participation in the classroom. Many professors or instructors have struggled with including the student in the classroom. One of the first professors to embrace the interactive classroom was Claude Bernard. He found that engagement of the students in the laboratory increased the retention of the information related to the psychological or physiological uh, phenomenon of the living animals and or humans. I can relate to that. While in nursing school, I found the laboratory to be very engaging. It was one great process. I would venture to say that utilizing the interactive classroom has many far-reaching uses. It could be utilized for case discussions and in the laboratory as well, allowing for more interactive laboratory scenarios. Yes, I can remember thinking that labs were some of my greatest learning experiences, and some of the hardest too. The learning innovations for today are endless for, to the imagination of the instructor staff. Educators have been looking for various methods to make the, the classroom more interactive and innovative. Many of these interactive techniques have been evolving to utilize all of the senses to ensure that the information is retained. I can understand the need to engage the student. I'm able to think back when I was not really engaged in what was happening in the classroom. The instructor was the sage on the stage, and I was the sponge that was expected to retain the information. With the new generation's request for immediate feedback in their performance, this innovative technology allows for immediate feedback, thus speaking to the new generation. Oh, how I know it. My daughter is one of these individuals that requests that information immediately. I can see this would be helpful in the classroom. Information can be presented by the instructor and then query the student's opinions on questions related to the information. Students can also be quizzed on the material to be evaluated uh, their understanding of the topic. But the students are not the only ones who benefit from this technology. Students are required to infer the correct responses related to the concepts being taught. The role of the instructor is to engage the student in conceptual conversation. This technology allows for this student engagement. I utilize this technology with my new employee orientation when discussing topics related to policies and procedures. I have used it to introduce a topic by presenting a case study and question the staff on how they would handle the care of the patient. This allows for the staff to conceptualize how the various policies that we have written are and intended to be improved for the care of the patient. Michelle, this is how we're using the te this system now. What do you think the future may hold for this technology? I see this technology being integrated into simulation scenarios, allowing for peer feedback when viewing the video after the simulation scenario. I also can see that this technology might be able to venture out to lots more ideas. For example, in services, grand rounds. What about mortality and morbidity discussions, staff meetings? How about peer review? Knowing that our students are making a psychological investment in the material being discussed in the classroom will improve their retention of the information. This is important because the ultimate goal of the instructor is to make a desired behavioral change. Audience response systems increase that psychological investment in the material being taught. Check. It includes the student in the learning environment. Check. It allows for both formative and summative evaluations of the students. Double check. Most of the necessary equipment are currently available in our, in our classrooms. The software for the computer is usually free for the educators and the ARS devices or the clickers 
can be purchased by the students for a nominal fee. For an organization that chooses to retain the ARS devices, these involve an initial investment of approximately $2,000. Yes, that's $2,000 for about 250 clickers. How about that? That's awesome. So, we know that the, the clickers in, in the audience response system improves retention rate of the information. It, has, uh, it promotes a positive attitude by the instructor and the student. It improves post-lecture performance, and it delivers reliable learning points. We would like to thank you for your attention during our discussion on this innovative technology. If there are any questions, please address them to Michelle and I on the discussion board. Thank you. Thank you.